Tailwind is a CSS framework that simplifies the process of building modern and responsive web designs. Tailwind is recognized as the industry standard for professionals. It produces consistent results, is universally understood, and easily readable whatever your platform. This is why Quickly natively integrates the Tailwind ecosystem to provide the only complete, no-code solution for WordPress. If you want to learn more about Tailwind, head over to their official documentation. By default, the Tailwind integration is not activated. To activate Tailwind, navigate to the Quickly settings and toggle Tailwind on. Quickly boasts an impressive copy-paste feature that allows you to take any HTML snippet and instantly convert it into Quickly blocks. To activate this feature, toggle the HTML to Blocks setting in the Options menu. Instantly import your favorite Tailwind components with a simple copy-paste. Choose a component of your choice and copy the provided code. When importing Tailwind layouts, make sure that Tailwind mode is active. Head over to the editor and paste on your page. Thanks to smart algorithms, Quickly automatically detects the different parts of your layout and brings them to life as Quickly blocks. Customize and make it your own. This opens a wide range of design possibilities with access to all pre-made layouts that rely on Tailwind. To start working with Tailwind, make sure you activate the Tailwind mode. When active, the Tailwind icon is colored. When in Tailwind mode, all UI properties will automatically apply Tailwind classes to the selected block. When Tailwind mode is deactivated, all UI properties will affect the block class. Tailwind classes can be applied to a block in two ways, the UI and or the class selector. To add a Tailwind class through the UI, select a block and property. No need to memorize Tailwind classes. The necessary values for the selected property show in a friendly modal. If you are familiar with Tailwind values, you can input the desired value without having to use the class prefix. If you need to use a one-off custom value, we have you covered. Any valid custom input will automatically be converted to a Tailwind class. No need to remove a Tailwind class to change the value. Quickly automatically detects classes that apply to a property and does all the hard work for you. Tailwind classes appear with a characteristic Tailwind Blue in the class area. Any team member unfamiliar with Quickly can simply write in their classes as they usually would, while allowing you to work with the UI at the same time. To add a Tailwind class through the class selector, open the class selector. Type in your desired class. To speed things up, you will notice some suggestions appear in the Tailwind Classes column. The Tailwind icon allows you to toggle Tailwind mode. To apply, select a suggestion or press Enter. You can remove a Tailwind value by resetting the value on the property or by removing its associated class by clicking the Remove icon. For hybrid users, those who like to work with classes and the UI, simply shift-click on a Tailwind class. The UI will automatically take you to the appropriate editing view. You're never left in the dark over what a class or value represents. Hover over a Tailwind class to get a CSS definition, or hover over a value suggestion to see its CSS value. Quickly provides cutting-edge Tailwind Studio State Management, allowing you to visually apply styles on hover, focus, parent states, and much more with ease. Tailwind provides all the necessary utilities to handle simple to complex pseudo states. You can find interactive states by hovering the mouse icon. To modify a property on hover, open the pseudo state selector and click Hover. As you can see, an indigo background color is already applied. We can also modify the text color or any other CSS property Tailwind supports. To exit hover mode, simply click the corresponding pseudo tag. 
You can find non-interactive states by hovering the Tailwind icon. Non-interactive states are stackable and allow you to handle complex rules. By default, the main breakpoint is available in the list of non-interactive states, in our case, SM. To add more states, click the plus icon. From the Tailwind Pseudos modal, you can manage all available non-interactive states. To modify a property on one of these states, open the non-interactive state selector and click the desired state. You can also stack multiple states together. Tailwind also allows you to apply styles based on the parent or sibling states, group for parents and peers for siblings. Don't hesitate to check out the Tailwind documentation for more information. The following example also applies to peers. To apply a style to the button when hovering the inner pricing wrapper, we can use a group selector. Select the inner pricing wrapper and apply the group class using the class manager. Select the button block. Open the non-interactive state selector and click Group. All groups and peers will appear in their respective categories. The hover interactive state is applied by default. Apply the desired modifications. To exit a non-interactive mode, simply click the corresponding pseudo tag. Quickly breakpoints are automatically synced with Tailwind. Whether you design with a desktop or mobile-first approach, the Tailwind configuration is automatically kept up to date. Following the Quickly workflow, Tailwind values applied on a breakpoint view will be applied for that specific breakpoint. If you want to apply the default Tailwind breakpoints, Quickly provides an easy way to set this up in no time. Head over to the Breakpoint Manager and click the Tailwind icon. Quickly colors are automatically synced with Tailwind. Any color or palette created within Quickly will display in the color selector. To apply a solid color to a block using Tailwind classes, use the Quickly color picker and select the desired color. To apply a transparency using Tailwind classes, use the Quickly color picker Hover over the desired solid color and find its corresponding opacity in the Opacity palette. When using Tailwind, and as mentioned in their documentation, you'll inevitably find yourself repeating common utility combinations to recreate the same design in many different places. For example, in the template below, you can see the utility classes for each avatar image are repeated five separate times. To deal with this, Quickly has gone a step further and created shells. Shells allow you to create reusable collections of Tailwind classes to avoid repeated modifications to identical blocks. This is a game changer. So let's shell it. With the avatar image block selected, click the shell icon to open the shell converter. A list of the current classes applied to your block will appear. If you already have applied a shell to the block, it will also appear as shells can nest other shells. By default, all Tailwind classes are selected for shelling. To select or deselect, simply click on the desired class. Once you've made your selection, assign a suitable name and click Create or press Enter. Notice all the selected classes have now been shelled into the avatar shell. To peek at the contents of a shell, simply hover. To modify the shell, click and modify in the usual way. Modify the shell's name in the appropriate field. To exit shell modification, simply click the back icon. Let's apply the avatar shell to our other avatars. Remove all classes. Open the class selector and find your shell in the shell area.
any change you make to a shell will automatically and globally apply to all blocks. As they say in their documentation, Tailwind has been designed from the ground up with customization in mind. While you can achieve just about anything with the default Tailwind configuration, there are times when you need to go just that step further. Quickly fully supports Tailwind configurations and plugins. To create a custom Tailwind configuration, navigate to the Globals tab and open the Tailwind tab. To add a configuration, click the plus icon. Once added, the configuration will be active by default. If you have multiple configurations, select the required configuration in the drop-down to activate it. To reset to the default Tailwind configuration, simply reset the active selection. Modify your configuration's name by clicking the pen icon. Remove your configuration by clicking the bin icon. Below the configuration selector, you will find the configuration editor. Toggle the official Tailwind plugins as required. You can also modify Tailwind directives in the directives editor. For more information about Tailwind customization, please refer to the Tailwind documentation. Importing Tailwind plugins is seamless. Simply reference the NPM package name and quickly will do all the necessary in the background. And that's how you use Tailwind in Quickly.